dear friends, this is Grace, and I'm on my second layout with my September kit that I had put together for my stash. Now, I'm sorry if this video is a little different than um, my previous ones. I'm trying a new way of putting together or setting up my camera and to video, and it kind of set up sideways, and so when I tilted it, it just went very narrow. So um, a few of my layouts or my process videos it will be like this until I figure out how to do it right. So um, I'm sorry about that. But anyways, I'm still working on my September um, kit, like I said, and most of the papers in the kit are actually for my scrap stash. And so um, like that blue um, paper that I had put in the center of this layout, um, it was one of those um, uh, textured cardstock and so I just just distressed it and then I'm using some very old paper like as you see a lot of them have been used for um, things that I punched out on uh, this paper with the numbers are from KI memories and um, I thought it was applicable this picture is of my daughter when she was in preschool and they had pajama day and so the numbers I thought was really um, applicable for that because it worked um, with the school theme now the strip was a little too short so I cut them in half and and just adhered it like so um, and you wouldn't see that they have there's a gap in between them because um, I covered it with a picture and um, now I'm just playing around with the placement of some of the blocks that I had I wanted to incorporate in this layout um, that yellow I mean that orange um, journaling block paper I believe is from Lawn Fawn and then the craft documented kind of bingo card um, I don't know where that's from it's been a long time since I've had that in my stash um, this one is um, it's just some star um, distressed chipboard from Pink Paisley and then um, the circle block is from Jenny Bolin and then just a little bit more strips I think from L Studio and that arrow paper is from Lawn Fawn as well so um, I'm just layering them seeing how it goes um, oh and this is another uh, product that I've had for a long time that I really wanted to use up. These are from Hamley Screen Prints. Um, they are no longer um, uh, doing or um, selling stuff and they've closed their doors. But I've had that kind of paint splatter rub-ons for a long time and I really wanted to use it. Um, this stripe red paper is from SEI and I'm deciding that I was gonna create um, a punched border on the edge before I adhered it and so I'm using my Fiskars um, scallop I believe it's called water threaded um, punch I might be wrong but um, so I'm just adding that scallop with the circle dot in the center design I'm gonna add it as a strip to my page now I'm really liking putting together my own kits. There's been of course lots of great kit clubs out there but I find that when I put together my own kits from my stash I'm actually using up my supplies and so I'm really liking that and I get to um, you know go through my scraps and use them up and because I'm, I'm really feeling guilty that I've just been accumulating a lot of stuff and I haven't been using it. So now is the time to use them up. And I've decided with the arrows that I was actually going to cut them uh, kind of like what I did with the numbers because the arrows I wanted to go pointing to the picture. So I kind of switched up one of the sides of it so that both arrows or both strips are pointing towards the picture. Just a little bit more um, detail to where I want the eye to be led to, which is of course the photo. So this pic, this page is um, one of the very few that I only have that I only put one picture in the layout. Most of you that have seen my videos know that I try to cram a lot of pictures in in a 12 by 12, 12 layout, but with this one, it just so happens that I only have one picture from that event and I still wanted to document it because um, my daughter is now eight, going to be nine next month and this picture just 
really struck me because it you know this is a, a long time ago in 2009 okay so that little strip is from L studio and it says I love your and then I added stickers to spell spirit because I really love her spunk so and then I'm deciding I was gonna use up that circle punch um, again that was part of the kit I wanted to use up my tools and so circle punch was what I chose to put in my kit to force me to use it and um, I'm just I punched out some circles and I wanted to do a scallop edge border there but um, it just didn't look good so I'm gonna move around those half circles and um, put them in three different spots on my layout to create a visual triangle. So I'm putting one on the bottom left and then I'm going to add a couple on the um, kind of the center right and then top left. So now I'm adhering that little strip and um, now I'm going to add the stars and I'm seeing that they're kind of um, a little bit naked with the white color so I'm going to add some um, ink to them by just rubbing it on some ink pad which is um, I believe it's like an aqua, col aqua color and the fun thing about these these stress chipboards is that they have um, kind of a um, embossing on them and so when you ink it up you will see a little bit like a strip or just an embossed texture to the actual stars which is really cool and they have they're self-adhesive so I just have to adhere them now I wanted to use up those um, rub-on splatters and so I'm gonna cut them up and add them to those three parts of my visual triangle just to add some more layers to my page and also to make those stars stand out so I'm going to add one over on the bottom and I just used um, a little rub-on plastic tool to, to transfer the rub-on there I wanted to use that big splatter um, accent on the very top so I'm gonna pull out the sticker label and then adhere the rub on and then put that label back on there and I love how these rub ons they make it look like I'm really artsy but I'm <laughs> I'm really not and so it just it's a really cool effect where it looks like I've painstakingly did all that paint splatter on there but I just rubbed it on and so now um, I'm adding oh I've had these um, Jenny Bolin blocks for a while now I got them at Hobby Lobby on the clearance rack and so I wanted to use them up as well and the red stars just seems applicable with all the stars and the kind of a school theme that I'm going for for this layout and so I'm adding that just tucking it in on the right side of my page and here's another Jenny Bolin product it's a sticker that has the date on there and um, I'm grabbing my buttons because I wanted to add more texture to this page and I'm gonna end up deciding that I don't want to use or maybe I do <laughs> I can't even remember what I did with this layout so I I did use some buttons I believe it's kind of a grayish color button and then I'm adding brown twine um, through it just adding them into a ribbon and the twine that I'm using is from Doodlebug and I like to tie a bow on my buttons just to give it a finished look and I'm working on my third one and that should be easy peasy just thread them looks easy peasy but I guess it wasn't it took a few tries before it actually went through and then I tie them in a bow and snip snap the edges and then there it is
So now I'm adhering it with some dots of glue. And I'm looking at it and now I think I'm going to work on the title. See I'm trying a new different way of doing these process videos and I wanted to just create while it's recording but somehow I can't do it with the camera right in front of me so I try to put it on the side and um, this is the result of it. <laughs> so I'm going to have to figure out how to do this process videos a little bit better. Now this letter stickers that I'm using, they're textured, they're like canvas textured, they're from um, Prima and um, the P's and the A's some of them had holes, some of them didn't. So I used my um, uh, crocodile to punch out some holes on there. And I'm using some brown stickers from Doodlebug. I really like this font. It's really cute. I actually have this sticker sheet in many different colors because I just love the font. And so there is my title. And I'm kind of working just to make sure that it's all aligned and centered. And now I'm going to add some more letter stickers just to spell out the date, which was fall of 2009. So this is five years ago. Wow, time sure flies fast. Um, these, this sticker sheet is from Basic Gray. Um, I forgot what collection, but um, had it for a while and this is the result of it so um, I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching and um, I will see you when I see you bye